It's time I tell the story. It's time I tell my story. I've been holding back making this video or writing a post about this for over three years. And it's because I feel a layer of shame around it or I feel um, that you will see me differently or you'll think differently of me or you'll think differently of everything I've worked so hard to create and all of the ideas and images I've worked so hard to create. But the truth is, I wasn't always like this. I wasn't always ultra spiritual or into all these techniques or into all these modalities or doing what I do now, which is a lot of transformation and powerful work with clients and events and content. You know, I, I, I really don't even know where to begin, but I came from a very introverted and a very shy boy. I was a very imaginative and a loner type of young man and boy. And I was addicted to gaming. Every kind of gaming you could imagine. I played it, I addicted to it. It became more interesting to me than girls, especially in high school. It became more interesting to me than college and homework. It became more interesting to me than real life. And I'm talking about every kind of game, card games, board games, but especially video games. That's where I went really, really deep and really far. And, you know, the people who see me now, since I left Texas and since I've moved to California and been all over the world, you know, I, I don't know if they can believe this. And many of you, maybe you've only seen my broadcasts. Maybe you've only seen my live videos or my, my written posts. It may be hard for you to believe, but I want to paint you a picture of what a 16-year-old Kevin was, was doing, what he looked like. Right after I get out of school at 4 p.m. in Texas in high school, I would rush home not to hang out with friends, not to talk to that cute girl that I liked in class, not even to go out with the boys and, you know, play basketball or ride bikes around town. I wanted to log in to the PC computer that I had built with my own hands and play competitive online video games all night. And I mean, I would only break when I absolutely had to, when my parents would you know, want me to do something, a chore, or they'd call me to dinner. This is the only time I would break. I would play from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. some days, fully into it fully dialed in i felt like a god inside the game in the virtual world because unlike the normal world where my face was covered in acne girls didn't pay attention to me my voice would crack when i would speak up in class in the in the virtual world i was a king and a warrior and i could win wars and find treasure and i was a commander i was commanding other people in the virtual world which i was building relationships with and it, that got to such a point that at one point I was in a community, a guild in one of these games that was the top, one of the top 10 in the world, actually, the whole world in, US and so in the U.S. and South Korea. I was an officer. I was a leader in an organization in the video game that was one of the top 10 in the world. And that was kind of the peak of how far I took this and how far I bypassed my own health. I was eating like garbage. I had horrible acne all over my face that crippled my self-esteem. And all I could think about was the game. I would do all my homework at the last minute. I would skip all the classes I could. All I wanted to talk about was the game. All I wanted to think about was the game. And then I had a few close friends in real life where we would gather and play these together. Sometimes on benders all weekends, like drug addicts, like. We would sleep one or two hours a night and play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, nonstop, only eating junk food, only drinking, you know, garbage, soda. And, and this, this is like way beyond like just video games. This followed me into college. This, this filled my life, tech and gadgets, more graphics, more speed more technical analysis. I was building my own computers and I had to have the best laptop and the best desktop. 
and I would research the forums online and I spent a lot of my time on the internet staring at a screen at night with anxiety, with insomnia. I somehow still had girlfriends at the time. This is a high school and a college and yet was not connected to them, was not in my body, was not in a sensory sexual experience with them at a high level, was not getting out there and having the, you know, the end of high school college experience. This really, this really made me feel alone. And it, it, uh, it colored a lot of my existence. It, it colored the way I thought about people. It colored the way I thought about the world. I just couldn't wait to get home to my computer screen, even when I was out, even when I was meeting my girlfriend's parents, even when I was making new friends. I would try to find the friends that I could play the game with, whether it was virtual or with cards And it would haunt me. It would haunt me. Why am I not developing meaningful relationships? Why do the girls not pay attention to me? Why do the other men not respect me? I felt weak and in solitude. I felt like I was fucking going crazy. Anxiety and these, these feelings of overwhelm and loneliness. And the only thing that could fill that hole was more and more and more. More numbers on the screen. More, more recognition in the game. And now I've realized that this was a full-blown addiction. Now that I've studied addiction, and I've coached people, I've had clients with addictions, I've had lovers and friends with addictions, I understand how it works, and I was addicted. And I'm telling you this story and telling you about my past self because I want to bring it into the conversation. It's, who, it's a part of who I was, that hurt, lonely boy, that solitary boy who all he wanted to do was read books and be alone and be in his imagination. It made me the man I am now. And so I'm pulling this forward. This is a download I've been getting the past two days as I drop into meditation on 11.11 and I pray and connect up to divine intelligence, something outside of my ego mind, right? It's like, tell the story. Talk about it. And so I'm speaking directly to you you know who you are you know who you are it may not be video games it may be poker it may be gambling it may be sports it may be betting it may be xbox it may be a game on your phone it may be gaming girls at the bar using pickup tactics it may be playing a manipulation game inside your family. Who's gonna get attention? Who's gonna get mom and dad's bank account? Who's gonna get this? Who's gonna get that? I'm speaking directly to you. Expect, especially, especially the men. Men in the tech industry, men in blockchain, men developing apps, software coders, all sorts of developers. I know what you're feeling. I know the pain of being disembodied, being ruled by the head, being addicted to technology, and being disassociated from reality. This is why I've gone so deep into Tantra and bioenergetics and yoga. This is why I went to the East. This is why I traveled through Thailand, Nepal, Malaysia, and India. This is why I was obsessed with philosophy and not the heady philosophy, the fucking embodied philosophy. I wanna be in my body, I wanna feel. I want to understand females and understand how to be in divine union with them. I want to understand my own sexuality, my own body, and my own health and diet, my mental and physical diet. This is why I went so deep because I went so dark into this. So I'm speaking directly to you, men. I'm speaking directly to those men in tech. I'm speaking to you. For me, it was video games was the ultimate addiction. But there's something else here, and that's the physical body. It's becoming more human, more empowered, more potent in your sexual vigor, in your physical health, in your mental clarity, in your breath, in your eye contact, your presence, your heart. People can feel that shit. And so if you're not, if you're not successful with partnering with your own body and loving it, literally loving your temple, your self-care, how you think about your body. If you're not successful talking to women, and there's women out there like this too, so if talking to men, talking to the opposite sex and actually having a real connection, not just Tinder and Bumble, not 
gaming tactics, not red pill, not men going their own way, not pickup artists. It's more mental bullshit. It's going to clog up your intuition. It's going to block you from felt experience. I'm talking directly to you. I want to work with you. I know what it feels like. I've been there. I've been addicted. I've been disembodied. I've been fully in the virtual world. I lived another life. And I got a second chance and reawakened into an actual life where I'm fully embodied by doing the things I've done and I continue to do every single day. It's what I'm fully committed on. So I'm putting this out into the ethers. I'm putting this out into the universe. I want to see more men and more women step away from the virtual. I love this tool that I'm using right now. I use it as an artist. It's amazing. It lets me get my voice and this message out to millions of people. My goal for 2019 is to touch 2 million lives. I touched over a million in 2018. It's not even over yet. I'm using this tool in a new way. And I invite everyone to do the same. Technology is exponentially growing. It's only going to get faster. We have to become more human. If we're going to learn how to actually operate these godlike tools. We need more wisdom. We need more embodiment. We get to do this. We get to retribalize and re come into a village understanding of community with other human beings, which is the most important commodity on earth. That's not even a commodity, but if you want to intellectualize it like that, relationships are everything. Real relationships with people. If you're resonating with this message, I invite you to tag somebody who needs to hear this. Tag a gamer that you know. Tag a man that you know. Share this video with your tribe. And if you're feeling this vibration I'm speaking right now, you're feeling these words, you've connected with my story, send me a PM, I'll be in touch.